Hey, Steve H here from Ask Audio, and I'm here with David Small. He's a synthesizer maker. Yes. In the yes. Eurorack form, and what he's created here is something very, very special. It's a recreation of the Series 100 modules originally designed by Donald Gugla. These are the modules that kind of created the whole modular electronic scene. So I'm here, I'd like to know what inspired you, David, to recreate these modules. Uh, well, it was probably the fact that they are impossible to get anymore. And so for people like me that um, got into Bukla stuff, started playing around with that, and the 100 series stuff was always sort of the, at least to me, held this kind of fascination. Absolutely. Um, just because it's it's always, you always want to be able to go back to the roots and understand how things started out. And then also the fact that it was so impossible to get a hold of any of it. Um, Especially once they were working. Exactly, exactly. It was really kind of an inspiration. Yeah, I mean, what happens is that these old electronics, the cap capacitors dry out. Right. It just uh, stops working after a while. Right. So here you are kind of uh, keeping a legacy alive with this stuff. It's really yeah, cool. yeah. I, um, so how did, you, what, how did you figure out how to model them, or what was your process? Well, fortunately, uh, most of the schematics for these are everywhere, They're all over the internet. They're kind of public domain at, the, at this point. Um, they've been up for 10 or so years. So I originally started making these for myself in a Buchla format to make myself a 100 series Buchla modular. And uh, after I did a bunch of them and played around with them, I decided that it's the kind of thing that people might be interested in seeing in Eurorack. So I did a set of five. I showed them at last year's NAM and got a really good, got some interest in them. And so decided to go ahead and put that. Cool. So how many modules do you have now? I currently have six modules that are out and I've got another five to six that I've got um, in here at prototype form. Very nice. So I grew up on these modules. So yeah, it's really exciting yeah. for me as a guy who's been doing it for quite a while to see them uh, bring the rock back to life. Yeah, I'm happy to. It's nice to get you know people that have experience with the original 100 series that have come by and heard these and have um, you know been excited to see someone doing this. Yeah. It, it means a lot to me to the, the, see that. The 100 series had a very distinct sound. Yeah. And a lot of the modules that are being made now don't really have that. Right. These are all 100% um, all discrete electronics. They're all transistor based. There's um, no op amps in any of the sound generating circuitry. Um, there are op amps to boost the levels up to Eurorack level. So these will play nicely with all of the other Eurorack stuff that's out there. But I believe that they still maintain the tone of the original 100 series. You didn't do 1.2 volts per octave? I did not do 1.2 volts per octave. In fact, I think the original 100 was closer to 2, maybe? It was somewhere. It fluctuated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Do your oscillators drift like the originals? Yes, they do. Yeah. Um, they're probably a little bit more stable, just because components these days are probably a little bit better. Um, but these are all, I didn't change anything from the original schematics. And that was part of the charm. Right, right. I mean, they're, they're true analog. We weren't playing tonal music on this. One. Exactly. It's okay if they drift. Exactly, like, exactly. Like, and just like a string goes out of tune. Right. Oscillators are allowed to go out Exactly, of exactly. You just retune it with your sequencer or the touch panel that you're using and good to go. Very yeah. cool. Well, hey, well, thanks a lot. I'm yeah, really no excited to see this. Cool, cool. Thank you. Good luck with it. Thank you.